Hello. Hello. What on earth's that sound? Is there anyone there? I'm hearing some really weird noises. Wow. Anyway, sorry. Hi. Huh. So, hello. Uh, welcome. I cannot make... Well, I'm now in Cornwall. Cornwall. Uh, my friends invited me to go on holiday with them. So we're staying in a three-bedroomed um, bungalow in Cornwall. So we spent all day travelling yesterday. All day. All day. All day. Yeah, honestly, we got it about half seven in the evening. Or quarter to eight. Very tiring. Um, and it's it's not cold, but it's cool. And it's very, it's been raining and stuff. So it's not summer here at the moment. But there's no Wi-Fi. And the mobile connection is very very limited um it's been cutting off a lot so i can't i don't think i'm gonna be able to make any recordings over the next week so unfortunately it's going to be a week without any podcasts because i don't get back till friday while well, we travel back friday i might not be home till monday because I'm feeling I'm staying at my friends for a couple of days when I get back to Essex. So I won't be home probably till Monday, possibly. Which means I won't be making recordings. Who's there? John. Hi, John. Hi, Michelle. Hey. Um, I'm surprised. I'm outside. So I think the connection is a little bit better outside than it is inside the, the thing. Um, in the bedroom, no no connection on the phone at all to the mobile data um in the living room limited outside a little bit better uh we were in a supermarket earlier couldn't even make phone calls the mobile was <laughs> so it's we're kind of in the middle of nowhere really uh it's lovely it's a nice area the the greenery is amazing it's in fact, if I turn this around, how do I do this? Um, oh, how do I turn it around so you can see? Okay. That's it. That's a tree. I was going to give you an idea. Look. It's a lot of, uh, that's a pub over there. There's a lot of trees, a lot of trees. This is the house that I'm in. You see this? This is a bungalow. It's all right, it's, it's, it's really nice inside. Um, that's the chairs. But if you look at this, see how rainy it is or how how rainy it's been so everything's wet the grass is wet oh there's a little tree look oh there's a big tree just outside as you can see look it's it's nice nice little area but that's the sky that's what we're looking at that's what we're working with so it's a little bit, um, hello. It's a little bit, I think overcast, overcast is a underestimate. It's, it looks like it's probably going to rain a bit more as well, which, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? 
But apparently it's supposed to be nice on Wednesday. <laughs> so it's Sunday now. So by Wednesday we should have some nice weather. Yeah! Michelle says hi, hi. John says hi, hi, John. Hi, Michelle. Um, so what I thought I'd do, try and do a, a little bit of a quick little video. I didn't know I'd actually, if I'd get a reception or not because of the lack of reception. So it might cut out a little bit while I'm doing the recording. But I'm not sure what we're doing today, if we're going to go out or or not, uh, hopefully. But because we're nowhere near anything, I can't really take off on my own. So if we was near a beach, I'd be on the beach right now. Maybe even doing this, recording this on the beach, maybe taking a few pictures and stuff. But I'm kind of reliant upon... Uh, my friends to get me places, yeah, so I go where they where they're going. Uh, but I will be going to the beach. Uh, hopefully today, I don't know. But uh, you know, hopefully there is a, there are beaches nearby, but just not walking distance. Uh, maybe even might take a uh, twenty minutes or an hour, or, or no, twenty minutes in a car. I don't know, but. Uh, it's good to get away. The beds are really short. I felt like a giant. Because I'm short. I'm only 5'8". And my feet, my ankles were like at the edge of the bed. Now, admittedly, my head wasn't right at the top of the bed. But I'm used to being in a big double bed. And my bed, it doesn't matter. Even if I don't have to be right at the top, uh, my bed's probably six foot tall. And I'm 5'8", so I'm always, you know, comfortably within it. So that's a, that was a bit weird, but I felt big. I felt really tall, so, I, you know, it was partly a little bit uncomfortable, but on the other side, I felt tall. So I was, it was kind of a bit excited. <laughs> I was enjoying the feeling of feeling tall for the first time in my life. So I think the beds were kind of more for children. Or maybe people in Cornwall are shorter. I don't know. Uh, but they're nice. Each room, there's three rooms. One's got a double bed, and that's where my friends are sleeping. Um, him and his wife, or her and her husband. Cause, and then they're both my friends. And then they brought their mum with her. She's in one of the other rooms, and I'm in the other room. But both of the other rooms have got two beds in. Michelle's, I'm glad you decided to go on the trip. Michelle says, hi, Michelle. Yeah, I'm looking good. Thanks, Rachel. Yeah, I'm looking sexy. <laughs> I, I, um, I didn't know if I'd be able to handle the journey, if I'm honest. And I don't know how I did, but in the end, we were all cranky. We were all grumpy and I <laughs> kind of arguing a little bit. Um, Rachel, glad you've gone away. Thank you, Rachel. I did need a holiday. I've been talking about this for uh, since Andre died, and I, I needed to get away. Um, I thought I needed to be on my own. And I thought I needed to get away on my own, but the reality is, I didn't. I couldn't afford to do anything. I couldn't afford to go anywhere, and my friend knew that I needed to go away and she's she's offered for me to go on holiday a few times over the years and then suddenly on I don't know what day it was was it Thursday uh she said do you want to go on holiday do you want to come to Cornwall with us we've got a three bedroom house uh and I said initially like that's brilliant but probably not because the idea of being in a car for seven hours we were in there for longer, actually. About seven and a half hours. I didn't know whether or not I'd be able to do it. I didn't know if I had it in me to deal with that, you know, without being grumpy, without being a bit of a knob, because I didn't want to be... I don't want to come across as ungrateful, but, you know, just... Well, anyway, it worked out all right. We stopped at KSC. We stopped three times at motorway places. 
uh, so got to stretch my legs and stuff. My arm's aching from holding this phone. There. Oh, that's better. Different arm. I use my right arm. That's generally stronger for some reason. Uh, so I, we got here, no internet. So I brought equipment with me. Not a lot, but I've got um, a special microphone that works with the camera, with the, with the uh, iPhone. So I thought, yeah, I'll make recordings. I'll do two or three recordings a day. I'll do the Let Me Boy You To Sleep, because I've got something to talk about. And then I'll, I'll upload them and, you know, do that. But we got here. No Wi-Fi. There's supposed to be Wi-Fi. I've just heard we knew we couldn't get Wi-Fi because we didn't have the password. But my, my friend just came out and said, no Wi-Fi. The lady bought this house three weeks ago. And there's no Wi-Fi. Um, and as I said, the mobile network is, can you hear that? Um, the mobile network is very hit and miss at the moment. And I'm so pleased it's still going. It's amazing. Uh, Rachel says, so which town are you in? Um, Lou, L-O-O-E. Um, there's a joke there somewhere, but, um, uh, hi Susie, um, yeah, so I'm in lieu, in lieu of what, <laughs> but I think it's near lieu, I don't think it's actually lieu, but I think it's near lieu, I think this is a place that actually isn't anywhere, it's near places, it's not actually a place in itself, it's near somewhere, um, but apparently there's Wi-Fi in the pub, which is literally just down the hill. Uh, and we were just talking to my friend who's, we're, <laughs> it's an excuse to go in the pub now. So I might be having a few drinks. I've got no money to buy any alcohol. It's ridiculous. Until Tuesday. So I'm, I've got another two, what was it? Sunday, Monday. Yeah, so today and Monday, um, I'm going to have to try and get him to buy me a drink you're in the loo i'm in the loo i'm in the loo hi cuz everyone say hello to my cousin susie she's listening here this is my my special favorite cousin in the whole world um i don't have really have any family or friends like you know people that i see in real life on facebook but susie's one of the only people that i do have and uh so yeah everyone say hi to susie go on say hello <laughs> i thought you looked like you're in the toilet the big toilet there's a i think there's a dog howling somewhere i'm hearing howling <coughs> susie says love you i love you too susie you know you're my favorite. You're my fourteenth favorite cousin. You know that. <laughs> um, <coughs> I'm. I'd like to come and see you at some point. Michelle says picking you up clearly here in Australia. No issues on Sunday evening. In the future, what does the rest of it say? Oops. In the future, and hi, cuz. Hi, cuz. Yeah. I think. Um, that's one of the things I love about the internet is it can be just as clear, whether it's video, whether it's talking on the phone, just as clear in Australia, which is literally the furthest part away you can get from England, I think, as it is, in fact, you know, for someone in the next building. It's amazing. I do find that amazing. Rachel says, hi, cuz. See, Susie, everyone say hello to you. Suzanne, oh, you're back again. Um, I don't know what the route, what the thing is. Uh, my friend said they're going to be looking at some hotels that they're thinking about buying in near some beaches that are not in Lou but around the area. So I should get to see a few different beaches, hopefully. And what I'll do is uh, I will do a. I'll probably be with their mum 
and sort of look up, not look after the mum, but just be with her on the beach or something. So if it's a nice day, we can get an ice cream and um, I can push her onto the beach and stuff. Chuck her in the sea. I hope she's not listening. <laughs> uh, Jason, I'm, I'm on tour. Can you imagine, if there's anyone in Cornwall, look out for me. I'm here. I'm on tour. Celebrity in Cornwall, watch out. <laughs> watch out, baby. Oh, hello. Can you walk and talk? Yeah, I can. Right, I'm going to go for a walk. I'm going to take you with me. Wait a sec. I'm streaming live on Facebook. Do you want to say hello? No, I'm okay. I'm gonna, oh, come on. They've all heard about you. They don't mind about the cross-dressing. I told them about that. Just say hello. Just say, just say hello to them. Come on. It's my friend Dean. Good morning, everybody. That's enough. Good morning. Now me. More me. Oh, do you want to say hello to Daisy? Oh, in fact, what I do... There's Daisy. So, Daisy, say hello. Look. Look, Daisy. Daisy. Hello. Isn't she the cutest? Honestly, she's as fluffy and soft as she looks. Right, back to me. I know you don't want to see other stuff. You want to see me. I know. So, uh, where are we going? Well, celebrities, you know. I'm making a use of it while we've actually got the internet. Couldn't get enough in late yesterday. So they don't realise what a celebrity is around, do they? Dean doesn't, Dean don't appreciate it. You know, he thinks it's just I'm an ordinary person. <laughs> he doesn't know what a megastar I am. He doesn't know I've got 14 fans. Daisy, see this. Hi, Dean. I'm coming to find you, Rachel. That sounded very threatening. Very threatening, very scary. So, um, there's more people about now than there was yesterday. So, you know what, I've not done this. Dean, I've not done this before, walked and talked into the thing, but there's been people around. Right, so we're going to the pub now, I'm gonna skip you around. Here's the pub. There's something over there as well, I don't know what it is. But this is the pub. Well, I don't want to film other people. But here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Look at that. It looks all right in there, you know. Chairs, seats, exciting stuff. Where are we going? Right. So that's the front of the the place. It looks to me a bit more like a hotel, but it's not. Look at this. Chess set. Hey? Exciting stuff. These are the gardens. Looks nice. What do you mean you could see this anywhere in the country? Stop it. Look, steps. Hey, it's a hill. Now this is nice, isn't it? Look, it's a little uh, pond thing. Danger, deep water, it says. So I know where to push, push my neighbours if they get on my nerves. I know what that is. Look. Ain't it nice. It's a little, uh, It actually looks better on camera than it does in, in actual reality. 
bit like me. And I look awful on camera. Oh, look. Is it a little pathway to the edge? What are they called? Um, those flowers? Look at them. Are they lotuses? Dean? Yeah. Are they lotuses? Yeah. Isn't it nice? I hope I don't drop the phone. Please find him, that would be great. Be sure, sister, to no, Rachel. You won't find me, I'll be hiding now. Blind, this is steep. There you go. That's a little um, thing in the middle. The water's quite clear. Look. can't see any uh, fishes. I'm not in the grass, I mean, I mean in the water. There's a tree. I can't believe it. all the people are still watching. <laughs> there you go, look. Right, up the steps. What, do you want to see the swimming pool? Come on, see the swimming pool. Very inviting. <laughs> uh, I've got a theory, I've got a thing here. If you wouldn't drink it, you wouldn't start swimming it. There you go. Um, I'm guessing it's out of action. I'm guessing that's the swimming pool. It could be lovely. It's not very long, but as we all know, sizes and everything. Yeah. There's a sign there, no lifeguard on duty. Dean's gone. Don't leave me. Ah. Oh. So literally just from here, this is the pub. Just to the top of that hill. Where that red car is, that's where we live. Live, that's where we're staying. There's that thing again. Uh, oh, excuse me. I don't know where we're going now. What's in there? A torture chamber. What is it? Oh, is it? Oh, that's the actual pool. I thought that was the pool. Okay, well, obviously I can't film that. Not when there's people around and know that I'm doing it. I'll sneak in later. So that's the swimming pool. Indoor pool and gym. Yeah. Someone's boots on the floor. And now we're walking up the hill again. Whew. Exciting stuff. Oh, look. There's a... Uh, That look, that's nice. Look, there's a little, it's a little uh, children's play area. Did you see that? There's a children's play area over there. 
I know, but if they're not no one around, there's nothing to stop stop us going on there, really, is there? Apart from size, <laughs> maybe. Look, if you can see that. Right, here we go. <sighs> That's our car that we're traveling. And here we are. All the windows open now. Look, I don't know if you probably can't see, but we're back. So I'm going to stay here for a sec. Oh. Oh. Whew. So yeah, hi, hi um, Kissy. Uh, whew. Molly, hi. Yeah, I hope to maybe do maybe do a video or something when we go somewhere nice like somewhere like a beach um, maybe even I don't know uh, I don't know I don't know what's around here I really don't but like a sightseeing thing uh, I think we're think they're thinking of going to the What's that thing where there's lots of, is it the Eden Project? I think they want to go to the Eden Project. Um, so, I'm, what I'll do is I'll try and maybe take some pictures or a video when I go there. Possibly even to Land's End, which is right at the end of the country. It's the furthest point, apparently. I don't know if, if that will happen. I don't have control over what we do really because I don't drive uh, and I don't have a car. And yeah, so it limits. I mean, if I suppose if I had my own car, I could just I could just take off and say, I'm going to Land's End today, but I can't. Although I don't know where it is. To me, Land's End is at every beach. Once you get to the sea, that's the end of the land, isn't it? but apparently not um so it's going to be weird whoever sent me the kisses thank you thank you very much it's going to be strange not making recordings for a week it is because i'm usually i'm quite regular yeah i'm pretty regular so i'd say i normally do at least one a day um, but at the moment it's working out, I'm doing probably a hundred a month recordings. So it'd be strange to not make any recordings. So maybe you can make, just for the next week, if you do listen to my podcasts, maybe make do with some of the older stuff, because there are 1,500 recordings available to listen to. So maybe listen to some of the older stuff. Um... Rachel says, I love Land's End. Is it Land's End? Is that what I said? Land's End. It is Land's End. You know what? I was trying to look it up the other day before I came out. Not of the closet, but leaving where I lived. And um, what I was looking for, and all I could think of was World's End. And that's the name of a film. Like, Land's End. That's it. But around here, uh, we went through... Is Truro near here, isn't it? Truro, you got lots of different places, but really, it's countryside. I can see why they do uh, festivals here, because the country is. This is a huge amount of countryside, but I haven't seen anything but countryside, uh, pretty much for the last. Well, it's motorway 
for 95% of the journey was motorway. And then the last 5%, like when we got here, it was smaller roads, but just countryside. So you could have been anywhere in the country. It didn't really look any different from anywhere else. That's kind of, because the whole of the UK is basically countryside. Even London, you're never more than a mile away from the, from the country, really. It's just they condense everything into small spaces. So, um, but this is probably the most countryside I've seen, I think. Because it's as far as the eye can see, literally, it's countryside. You can see fields. It looks like a mountain, a mountain. But it's probably hills. There's a lot of hills. Holly says, it'd be good for you to get a break. Don't get used to it. Oi. Oi, is that like, yeah, enjoy it now. But you better get make, make some bloody podcasts when you get back. I don't know. I might retire. I might just like stay here. Not stay here, but, you know, I might think, uh, oh, maybe I'll retire. Live the life of luxury. <laughs> maybe not. I mean, part of the thing, this is going to be a, like a little tester to see whether or not I could be away, go somewhere nice and still make the podcasts and still maintain all the stuff that I normally do and do it that way and maybe, you know, live that way. But if the internet is going to be a problem, that is going to be an issue because Earlier, I tried this. I'll tell you, this is weird, right? We was in a, it was in the the car yesterday, and I tested the speed on the mobile network, and I was getting over a hundred megabytes a second download, and probably seventy plus upload. Like earlier on, about an hour ago, I tested it inside the house. Nor point, nor point, no, nor point, nor four megabytes a second which ain't even enough to send an email probably you know if, if that hello four slices of bread oh yeah lovely thank you are you doing it now i was gonna cook it oh brilliant it's really great because we've got a chef on 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 call so that's good um he cooks, but unfortunately he won't wash me balls. So I have to wash myself, unfortunately. I hope he's not listening. Oh, he is listening. Oh, my God. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Dean. I didn't realise he was listening. <laughs> he won't wash me balls. I can't, I can't believe that. He wasn't supposed to hear that. Um, uh, you have to wash myself, but he does cook, so that's good. And um, my other friends, I don't know where she was in bed. And uh, mum was in bed as well, but I think they're, they've arisen out of their graves. Um, it is nearly 11. You could seek asylum, <laughs> says uh, um, Rachel. You know what, though? I was told before I came here that the locals don't like people out from outside Cornwall. And I don't believe that. Surely not. So I'm going to do a bit of research and ask. Michelle says you could, at Jason's World Travels, commentary on all the spots you go. I'd watch and listen. Thank you, Michelle. Uh, Ro, you could do a pre-recorded episode and schedule a release. I did think of that as well, Molly. In, not just, um, not, I don't know, not that much into... I, I was trying to work out... Hi, Riley. I was trying to work out, right, what can I... How many recordings do I do in a month? About 100. And it worked out I'd need to do about 12 recordings a day if um, I was going to, if I was going to like work for one week, be at home for one week and then three weeks be away. I'd need to do 12 recordings a day as well as uploading them, preparing them for to be released. Um, yeah, it'd be quite hard, I don't know. But, I like the idea, I think what I could do is, the Jason, the, the Let Me Boy You To Sleep ones, I could do them. I don't want to do them beforehand because 
I've got this to talk about, haven't I? I can talk about what's going on, what I've been doing, where I've been. Um, so they let me boy to sleep. I can do as I go. Ideally, do as I go. The other stuff I could do maybe beforehand. So the hypnosis stuff, maybe do 60, however many it works out. Yeah, 60, 60 recordings um during that week so that's what nine a day it's more doable a lot of work but yeah but then the reality is i've been invited on holiday here free they've not asked for anything riley says oh let's do <laughs> rachel you always have to bring your balls into it <laughs> i know Molly says, I would too. You, 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 of course, Molly says, I think she's talking about it, she'd want her balls to be washed. Yeah, me too. A real chef's washing all sorts, Michelle says. Um, Riley says, I'm making some digital art of the sweet Andre. Oh, man, that's lovely. I'm still trying to work out some texture things. Um, oh, that's lovely. That's great. I, I'm looking forward to that. Um, but I'm pretty happy the way it's turned out. That'd be great. Um, I miss that little boy so much. Just, it's, I don't know, it's a different pain. After a while it gets, it's a different sort of pain or a different sort of feeling. I just miss him so much. Um, just wish he was, you know, I just miss, I miss cuddling him. I miss him being rude to me and being naughty and stuff. It's just strange. Um, have a holiday, forget the podcast, Rachel says. You know what it is, though? Doing a podcast isn't work for me. It is, there's a lot of work involved. It's a lot of time. It's very time consuming. It really is a full time job, really, in some ways. If I do like three, three podcasts, um, takes hours to upload them. There's all, you know, I do the images. I don't have to do the images, but I make images for them. Um, at the editing. So it's, it's quite time consuming, but you know what? I enjoy it. I actually, there's not one part of it that I don't really enjoy. The one, the thing I didn't like was the editing. So when I didn't have such a good f uh, microphone, the editing would take me twice as long as the recording sometimes. I'd like to spend two hours uh, editing uh, and let me boys to sleep. Now I can edit it in five minutes because the quality of the sound, uh, there's not much in the way of um, weird sounds that I need to edit out. Uh, Heidi says, hi, hi Kissy. Uh, we can be rude to you if you want. Heidi, what? Right, 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 he says it took me about five episodes to realise he wasn't your human son. Your release, yeah, um, it was special. Well, for me, he was my, I know it's weird. He was my little boy and I've never had that relationship with a human or a pet uh, before. I just loved him just a bit, just, just. And it's, I know it sounds sad, I'm not saying it to sort of show off or say what a wonderful person I am, but I, we all know that anyway, don't we? But <laughs> I'm really not. Every day, without fail, I told him I loved him. And he'd look, look at me like, fuck off, I'm trying to sleep. You know, he wasn't interested. But every day, I told him I loved him. Every night before I went to bed, love you, Andre. And I'd cuddle him, I'd tell him I love him and... I realised that I was the needy one. I was like a needy puppy. And he was like an adult, human, sort of trying to sort of, yeah, okay, okay, I've got stuff to do, go away. Um, Heidi, you can be rude to me if you want, I don't mind. Bo Rotome, go on. Give it your best shot, go on. Um, I... Yeah, I missed a little boy, but... I've got his urn, which has got his name on it. I 
don't I still not tidied up really there's still a few bits of his on you know the sort of remind me of him but I don't need physical things I've got memories of him I've got pictures I've got lots of pictures of him as well videos and stuff but for me I'm never going to forget him I suppose the only time I'll forget him is if I end up with memory issues you know in the future um, but then there's nothing I can do about that so Rachel says it's okay says he was your boy because we can have fur with children of course we can of course we can um, you know Rachel your 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 kitties they're your children of course they are um, doesn't matter cat dog doesn't matter what kind of animal it is because um, let's face it you can have human children that are a complete pain in the bum that you know t at least animals they I don't know it's just different it's a different feeling because I've never had kids human kids then he was he was my boy and nothing and no one can replace him but you know if it if i didn't if it did have him i wouldn't be here right now so i wouldn't wouldn't be able to come away i'd rather have him than come away obviously i'd rather have him be alive um so that's part of the reason i kind of in a sense i've looked at maybe getting a dog maybe getting another ferret i don't know if i really i'm thinking maybe i'll just stay as i am and see how things pan out because I might have opportunities to go away in the future and I can take them. Before I didn't have anyone to look after Andre. Uh, and to be honest, it was not I didn't trust anyone, but I think I just miss him too much. I always felt that, you know, I did, I stayed at my dad's twice, once for a wedding and once for another thing over that six year period. And I missed him. The idea of not seeing him for a week was like, oh, no, couldn't handle that. Um, but, yeah, I'm smelling bacon. They're cooking bacon sandwiches. Oh, it's really, oh, hmm. Hmm. Oh, yeah. What's been said? Michelle says, you never forget... My little cat was with 20 years and finally passed. Still miss her, but it became so easier. Um, but it's still a special memory. I know, you know, it's, it's an old cliche, isn't it? Old time is a great healer, but it is true. It is the best healer. Maybe apart from penicillin um, and uh, antibi <laughs> antibiotics are quite good. But it's over time... I guess we just adapt, don't we? We over time, when my nan died, sort of seven years ago, that was the biggest bereavement of my life at that time. And, oh, I've got low battery. Can you believe this? I get the internet working, now the battery's about to run out. Oh. So I better go. I'm just gonna ask if they wanna say hello before I go. Andrea? Do you want to say hello to my friends? No? Okay. That was a no. That was a definite no. That was a, a finger up in the air, go away, no. I can't believe she swore. I'll catch her off guard sometime. Um, so I'm going to go. I'm going to have to go. This is, Riley says I'm going to have to go to bed now. It's like 3.30 in the morning. I'm at home. Okay, cool. Have a wonderful day. Night, everyone. Oh wait, we being rude now. Who? Who's being rude? Who? Who? When? What? <laughs> Bugger off. <laughs> Bye everyone. Uh, I'll speak to you later. I'm going to go and have a, a bacon sandwich. And uh, maybe I'll try and do something later. Make a video or something. Um, but love you all. Thank you for, for your lovely messages. And 